There were scratches and dents all over the car's body, and you could even pull the back seat out of the car. Both corners of the hood were bent, which happened when she was driving to school and her whole hood flew up and bent. There were some fluids on the driver's side door. You'll see what I mean. Looks like the private animal. Now we know what happened. The car's rear view mirror was disconnected, but at least she had a mirror unlike this car. There's nothing here. There's nothing on the other side. Nothing. And is, is, do you have a, at least a nothing, rear view? Nothing, man. Nothing. The game is cold. Roche totally freaked out at the door and seemed very excited and grateful for the opportunity to have her ride pimped. <laughs> Hey, if you're watching this, you're probably a fan of Pimp My Ride and wondering what happened to the cars after the show. Well, if so, I got a treat for you guys. I have located over 20 contestants that still own the car today, and I've located almost all of the contestants on the show and many more of the cars. If you guys want to see the videos about where the cars are today, what happened to the cars, I'll cover every single episode and try to find every single car from the show. I'll be releasing all that content on my Patreon, patreon.com slash pimpmyriderevisited. Go check it out there. A lot of this stuff will never be seen on YouTube, TikTok, anywhere else. You have to go to the Patreon and subscribe. I appreciate you doing so. All right, back to the video now. Link will be in the description, or you can click the I in the top right corner. When going through the car, Exhibit found some interesting things in the glove box. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, this was not the first or the last time Exhibit found feminine hygiene products. These are feminine hygiene products. That's a first. This is my aunt that the car belonged to <laughs> when she. Oh, come on now. <laughs> you remember last time when, you know, when we picked up the car, we had a lot of interesting things in the back. You know what I'm saying? What is that? <laughs> what is all? It's going down. Pimp <laughs> my ride, baby. Unfortunately, in this video, I could not show all the funny moments from this episode, but I just released a video yesterday that showed all the funny moments from season three. So go check that out if you have not already. Link in description, eye in top right corner, and it'll be on the end screen. You dating anybody? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a place. Me and this car has something in common. We're both tourists. <laughs> That's right. They're both full of bull too. The crew at West Coast Customs transformed the tourists with Lamborghini style doors slide out doors in the rear, a cobalt blue paint job with silver rivets and tearaway graphics, memory foam seats, a voice affirmations box, a stump bag, and more. This is really coming together. It's a lot of work, but it's coming together. Check out your brand new ride. The Taurus was the third car on the show to receive Lambo style doors. The first one on the Ford Taurus, I will give you that. The car was the only one on Pimp My Ride to feature slide out doors in the rear. Now it pops out in a whole different way. The crew installed Lexan cutouts on the hood that were backlighted with neon, making the hood glow at night. You're gonna piss a lot of people off driving behind them at night. They're gonna think you're a cop for real. But she's gonna hop out the door and slide across the hood like TJ Hooker again. Who's TJ Hooker? <laughs> <laughs> Rache was also hooked up with her own affirmation box. Just remember, you look fabulous. Aww. And a stunt bag that came out of the trunk. Personally, I really liked how the Taurus came out. It was my favorite car from season three that did not get wrecked immediately after the episode. If you are still watching, comment down below right now what your favorite part of the car was. For me, it's going to have to be the Lambo doors and the paint job. The interior looked very nice as well. The slide out doors in the rear were a bit unpractical, but the car had no back seat, so it was not like people had to get in there all the time, but they look cool nonetheless. 